Yo. Hey, stop that cat. Big Fish responds to Jerron Boots Ennis and his recent comments and call out. That's what I'll talk about in this video. What up, Fight World? It's your boy Ego, and I'm back with some more boxing. Little quick joint. Make sure you guys like and subscribe. Errol Spence, he posted this picture with this big, huge ring dripped out with some jewelry on. And this is obviously a response to Jerron Boots Ennis. He was ringside. Jerron Boots Ennis shined. Sharp performance. Stopped Castillo Clayton in two rounds. Errol Spence says, they don't make a big enough rod to reel me in, bucko. Right? And he got the shoes on, drip, fight week festivities. Of course, he was out to support his brother, brother, Jermail Charlo, who just became undisputed. I got videos on the channel, so make sure you guys check out those videos and hell of a performance by Jamel Charlo. And he proved it is Lions only. And he has the heart of a lion. And he really showcased that in a 10th round stoppage versus Brian Castano. A lot of doubters too. A lot of people said he lost the first fight or is a draw or is a tough fight, whatever. And Jamel shut all the critics up. Derek James, he got to be trainer of the year for my dollar. You know, he just arrow what he did with Ugas. Jamel Charlo I even like the Marcus Brown fight I think that was at the end of last year even though he lost to better be I like the work he was doing and then you have Frank Martin as well a lot of people aren't talking about him enough but if you don't know you then you don't know if you know you know Frank Martin is definitely somebody that should be on your radar started boxing late you know what is considered late in boxing and you know he's picking up quick and he's learning on the job stepping it up and pressing very impressive stuff now back back to the errol spence jr listen what can i say errol spence he's proven people wrong just like jamel charlo did people said oh like people kept throwing up you're not the same since the accident he said i'm fine you know i went through the the bumps and bruises learned my lesson from that situation and i'm moving on and he showed that in his fight with ugas now as far as jerron ennis What's going to not happen on my channel is you're not going to pit me against two fighters. I've been a huge fan of really everyone in the welterweight division. I really, that's a true statement. I really like Errol Spence Jr., really like Terrence Crawford, and really like Jerron Boots Ennis. And it, it seems like lunacy in the boxing world where we live in such a microwave society and popcorn society where people want instant gratification. It, it, it sounds silly. And I, I respect technology because technology, just like Arrow's on his phone right now, it puts information in your fingertips. If you want to know how close the earth is to the sun or a complicated math problem, you can look that up. If you want to know how many teaspoons in a tablespoon and you don't know, you could go to Google and within seconds have an answer. But with all that technology and information at your fingertips, we also live in a in a society that's also looking for instant gratification and call me old school, whatever. I'm not going to, I'm not going to conform to this stupidity in boxing where Jermail Charlo literally just beat a guy and boxing media won't wait 12 hours. And they're already pitting the next. He just got in a tough fight. He prevailed. He's undisputed all that. Great job. Great job, coach. Great job. Mel, right? He can't even enjoy the fruits of his labor, spend time with his girl, his wife, and his kids, his family, and Errol, and, you know, his gym mates and stuff. And people are already trying to force feed you, like ESPN, trying to force feed you. Oh, he got to fight Fundura. He got to fight against, you know, Tim Kazoo or T Costa Zoo or whatever, you know? And it just, it, it, to me, it, it just sounds ridiculous. Let the man rest. Like, you ain't never seen me thirsty when I cover fights live. When I get credentials and when I, I haven't applied because of the pandemic, but when I was covering fights live all the time, you never see me thirsty. Let these dudes go home to their families. They had eight, 10, 12 week training camps. Shut the f up. You know what I mean? Same thing with Errol Spence. People were begging for him, like literally, oh, you got to fight Crawford. He said what he was going to do, and he's been a man of his word. He said, I'm going to clean up my side of the street. Hey, stop that cat. He got every belt. Now he says his sights on Terrence Crawford, and people are trying to detour him and tell him to fight Jerron Boots Ennis. That's not a knock on Ennis because Ennis is, I'm not blaming Ennis. He a fighter. He's supposed to be doing what he's doing, calling out Crawford, Keith Thurman, Errol Spence. That's the fighter. That's all good. 
he's the actual competitor. I'm talking about boxing media and the fans. Like, they keep telling Arrow he was ducking and he need to fight against Crawford. And now we may be closer than ever to getting that fight. Now they saying switch gears. You got to fight the next person. It's just ridiculous. People treat boxing like it's the MCU, Marvel Comic Universe. You know, like they in the multiverse with Doctor Strange in them. And y'all acting strange in them. You know, it, it's, just, it's, it's ridiculous. And I refuse to do that on my channel. Jamel Charlo, rest up. Spend time with your people. And then we'll see what he got in store next. People want to bombard you. Imagine if they did that to your job, right? Imagine if you just worked overtime, double time, had a long day, worked a 12, 14 hour shift, which some of my go-getters really be out there working. I work long hours, right? All my small business owners and entrepreneurs, and you work this crazy 12, 14, 16 hour shift, and then somebody telling you, and you walk into the parking lot to your car, you're finally off, after a 14 hour shift and a grueling day lifting boxes and stacking pallets and things like that, doing pushing paperwork, staring at a computer screen, whatever, whatever the case is. And then you're walking to your car, can't wait to go home, shower, maybe eat, kiss your kids, uh, kiss your girl, have sex, whatever you want to do. And then people walking in the parking lot asking you about work tomorrow. You know what I'm saying? That's the equivalent of what people do to these boxers. So I don't really care about the Jerron Ennis, Errol Spence fight. I don't care about Crawford and 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 the Boots fight right now because I don't see it being likely. No knock on Jerron Ennis. I've been a fan, continue to be a fan. But I think the unfinished business is undisputed. And I don't see why Errol Spence, as a fighter, would want to forego undisputed and the guy that people have been saying for years he needs to fight and another established guy who was undisputed in another division to look at Jerron Ennis right now. But people keep shifting the narrative and they're doing it with Jermail Charlo too. It's like, what are we talking about? People said he couldn't beat, Jermail couldn't beat Castano. He stops him. And now the narrative shifts to he got to fight this six foot seven tree, Sebastian Fundora or Tim Zhu, who has one good win that we all know of in Terrell Goucher and got dropped in the first round in that at that. And this is what they're asking Derrick James and Jermail Charlo, Australian media. I mean, we got to just do better all in all. So for me, I don't want to hear none of it. You know, because it, it's just like, when can you, like, as soon as you complete one task, they tell you you got something else right after. And it's just unrealistic. Let me know how I did in this video. That's my thoughts on the whole situation, and I'm done talking about it. Subscribe. The future is now. The Hybrid Nation 5s by Kenichi Bear. Hybrid gaming and lifestyle headphones. Out of the box, you can connect to any console or PC. Bluetooth ready with a low latency USB adapter, color RGB, and extreme bass mode. The Hybrid Nation 5s adjust to you. Whether you need a gaming, travel, Gym or lifestyle headphones, the Hibernations got you covered. The new Hibernation 5s, link in the description. Customize the way you hear the world. Welcome to the nation. Are you tired of your YouTube videos not getting any views? Well, consider TubeBuddy. I've used TubeBuddy for years to scale up my YouTube channel. Now we're sitting over 200,000 subscribers. TubeBuddy is a browser extension that offers a ton of built-in productivity and time-saving services to take your channel to the next level. Use my link in the description to get started with TubeBuddy and level up your channel faster. We working.